Hi, this is Yako from Builderoo.com, reporting from the Dwell and Design 2009 convention. I'm here with Eric and John from uh, Graphisoft. They're here to talk about a really interesting software product that they have for architects and designers. So, Eric, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your software product. Uh, hi, yeah, my name is Eric Bobro. I have a company in Los Angeles called Bobro Consulting Group, and with my colleague John Stebbins here of Digital Vision, uh, we represent Archicad software, among other things. Archicad is the um, original virtual building product that allows a designer or an architect to create a model of a building in 3D and construction documents at the same time. It's now uh, commonly referred to as BIM or Building Information Modeling. Um, the basic idea of this is that you're creating a 3D model that um, helps you create drawings quicker and ensures that they're all consistent because every view of the model is maintained by the computer. You're not having to update things from one drawing to another manually. Another benefit is that we can analyze the building's performance, for, uh, for example, for sustainable design, for energy usage. So we have a new um, uh, tool called EcoDesigner. Um, so EcoDesigner is an add-on to ARCHICAD that allows you to get um, energy uh, analysis very quickly for the building. John's going to demonstrate that, show you just a little bit about how a BIM product works in general, because we're not the only BIM product, but we are the only one with this EcoDesigner uh, that gives this type of feedback. Uh -huh. But if I could ask a quick question, do you, does this allow me to specify manufacturer's particular products when I'm designing the building, or is it do I design to a specification? Um, you can design uh, uh, sort of in general and uh, generically, and then you can put in, as you wish, um, a specific performance criteria for manufacturers. So, in other words, Eco Designer allows you to put in very specific criteria for triple glazed windows with argon or, you know, um, wall types of uh, certain uh, performance uh, criteria. Uh, so, in general, architects will start with a concept and then develop it further and more specifically as they go. Okay, great. Well, thanks so much. Now, John, you're going to demonstrate, I, I understand, some of the features of the product? Yeah. John Stebbins, Digital Vision in Irvine, California. And what I have here is the actual model that Eric was referring to, and I can fly through and, and uh, take my client through any aspect of the model. But tied to the model, more importantly, is the ability to provide for the project and my client working drawings. So you see I have a complete set of working drawings here, sheet by sheet and all of these drawings are essentially coordinated to the 3D model. And so would, these, would these drawings, if I can just interrupt, would these drawings be appropriate for building commission or planning? Yeah, absolutely. These are the working drawings that you submit to the building department. Okay. So essentially you're designing and building with our software in 3D and the, and the software is automatically generating working drawings behind the scenes. So as you see here we have the environment where we actually build the model Here's uh, the actual floor plan of the model. And then when I go and look at it in 3D, here is the 3D rendition of the model. And by pressing a button in, in what we call a navigator, I can actually navigate through my various sheets with my own unique title block. And what would you say is the main difference between this and traditional CAD software? Well, the essence is we're not drafting, we're modeling, we're building. As you're designing, you're building a building. In drafting, you're essentially working with lines, arcs, and circles and representing a building, drawing by drawing. Here, we're building the building and the drawings become, in essence, a byproduct of the model. And they're all integrated, so you change something on the plan, it'll change in elevation, it'll change in section, all the relevant views. So everything is integrated and tied together, and when you're drafting, because you have sheet by sheet by sheet, nothing is tied together. And I, how long would you say someone that's familiar, I think most architects, if not all today, are familiar with CAD tools, how long does it take to become familiar with ARCHICAD? Well, almost immediately because you, you're transmitting or, or transferring your existing knowledge. I call it cross-training. You're cross-training yourself from uh, 2D drafting to, to 3D modeling, and there's a lot of similarities. So you can be productive in the first day, but normally it takes about three months to make the switch transition over from drafting to building. And one thing I was also one thing that was also mentioned that I heard before is that this helps minimize construction waste because you can pre-cut or pre I guess prefabricate before you get to the job site. Yeah, there's a lot of discussion about using the BIM model for fabrication as well. But essentially what you're doing is you're building a digital prototype. In essence, you're practicing, you're dress rehearsing the whole process of building the building digitally 
before you build it for real. And, uh, and that resolves a lot of issues and conflicts and lost time and lost productivity. Our productivity in the building industry has been tending to go down while most other industries' productivity is going up. So we're one of the most wasteful industries on the planet. This is really interesting. So um, is this product available right now on the market? Absolutely. In fact, it's been available for 21 years. Uh -huh. We're in version 13. Actually, we're in version 12 right now. Version 13 is coming in the fall. Uh -huh. And uh, it's come a long ways. Uh, Eric and I have been both involved with this product almost 20 years. Uh -huh. And so we've seen it evolve from... Uh, uh, from a time when very few people were doing 3D to the point where now everybody's talking about BIM and 3D. It's very exciting. This uh, building is all set up to show very quickly how you can um, get energy analysis done uh, while you're in the process of design and try out different uh, variations and see what effect they have. Well, basically what I have here, as you can see, is two different iterations of the same building. In this particular iteration, the glazing and the... And, and the um, the fenestration is, uh, is, is, is front justified. On the second iteration, there's uh, a little bit less glazing and the glazing is a little bit far back. So you have more thermal mass, less glazing, bigger overhang on iteration two. So if I go to my first design concept or iteration, I can essentially go to a menu and activate what we call Eco Designer. As Eric said, this is one of the first products that works right inside of a BIM tool. I don't have to learn new software. I don't have to go out to another program. I'm right inside of ARCHICAD. And essentially, I can uh, answer some questions about the building, where it's located on the planet. Uh, I can answer some questions about the, the kind of uh, heating and cooling systems that exist. And then I can start an evaluation. And within seconds, it goes and looks at the model and gives me feedback. And I can e even see my carbon footprint here. I can see how much it's going to cost me to operate that building during a yearly life, a yearly cycle. So I can take that and actually I saved off at the side here uh, that first version. So if I double click on it, here, here it is. And now let's go to my uh, second iteration, my second design scheme with the longer overhangs and I can compare my, my original uh, benchmark model, if you will, to this new design scheme and see what its carbon footprint is, how much it's going to cost to operate during a yearly cycle. And you see this one is a little, slightly uh, less carbon footprint, slightly less in, in, in cost when I compare it with my original my original uh, report. So where, these reports the are... I mean, you, you just mentioned cost. Where's the cost comparison? It's right down here, you see? So 4200 and 3600 so it's gone down by about 15 percent in, uh, main, in operating costs. So this gives you instant feedback on the effect of your design. Are architects now coming out of school understanding how to use this software or is it always a retraining? Uh, they're coming out of school understanding what BIM is, usually the last couple years of, of a four or five year program. In the early uh, first or second year they're, they're learning how to do stuff by hand, learning some, some basic 2D CAD and illustration and the BIM usually starts kicking in uh, the, the, the third and fourth year. Well, this is really interesting. And what new features, you mentioned there's a new release coming out. What new features do you see coming in the, in the near future? So you're going to pin me down, huh? Well, let's just say, uh, because I'm under non-disclosure, uh, to give anything specific, but what it's going to allow is uh, more people to collaborate more efficiently, because BIM is all about collaboration. It's all about project teams being able to work efficiently together. So we've got some new technology up our sleeve that's going to assist that project big time. Great. Well, Eric and John, thanks so much. This is really, really interesting. Um, thank you. All right, a pleasure. And thanks, thank John. Man. Great. Okay, and this is Yaakov for Builderoo.com, reporting from Dwell Design 2009. For more videos like this, please visit our website at Builderoo.com.